Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Winnebago Mini 2401 RG. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the outside features here. We'll make our way around and then we'll head on in. Right here's your power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. You just flip a switch here and that will raise it up and down. You also have a light here in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind that is where your two 20 pound propane tanks will go with the cover. Of course, it's not here currently because when it comes to the manufacturer, they ship it separately inside. Then behind that, you will notice rails for your battery box. And coming up the front here is your black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch and dent your beautiful fiberglass front end. Speaking of beautiful fiberglass, take a look at this side here. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the best sidewalls in the industry. Uh, it's, this is a, what they use is a T60 fiberglass. What that is, is the fiberglass actually comes in a sheet, whereas most manufacturers come in a roll. That's why you have this nice flat look. You don't see any ripples going down the sidewall. And then on top of that, they put a true pour gel coat. Again, one of the best in the industry is what you see on half a million dollar motorhomes. This is comparable to how they construct a bolt hull. And as you know, you can buff those and it will keep that shine and luster throughout the life of the boat. Very similar to the Winnebago product here. For outside storage, we have this nice compartment here. You can see the big pass-through storage area. Uh, the box right there, as I mentioned, is your propane tanks, but you can see how much room you have. You also have a uh, battery disconnect in the far side there. So that way, when you're done camping, you can just turn that disconnect rather than having to get up front and mess with the battery. You have two entrances and exits into the coach. Uh, you have the one right here, and then the back one there is actually your main entrance. If you take a look underneath, one other thing, a couple things I want to mention down here. One, you will see the propane quick connect. So if you want to grill out, you can go ahead and do that right there. And it will just feed off your big propane bottles rather than buying the small separate ones. You also have BAL jacks, which set up and tear down a lot faster than your standard scissor jacks. And you have a huck bolt frame on here. The huck bolt frame is advantageous because what generally when your frame well or rusts out, it's right at the weld point. So by eliminating those weld points, you eliminate that chance for rust there. And plus, if it ever does get damaged, this huck bolt frame is a heck of a lot easier to repair. So you make your way back a little bit further, you will notice the power awning here, large power awning. And one of the things I really do like about this floor plan is look, right here underneath the awning space, you don't have any vents, you don't have anything that will obstruct your campsite. So you open that up, this whole space here is campsite, which is awesome. Also, if you do want an outside TV, they did build a backer right here into the wall, and then your TV hookups are here as well. That's great. Again, right underneath the awning there, it helps provide some of that shade. The awning does have an LED light strip on it, so if you want to turn that on at night, you can do that. You don't have to get up there and hang up lights yourself. Then you also see outside speakers if you want to listen to some music. Those are uh, controlled by the Baltimore Media Center inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. Take a look right over here at the wheels. These are aluminum alloy wheels, so less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion on there and the nitrogen filled tires. As I mentioned, this is your main entrance. You can see the foldable easy grab handle here, three steps, so it is nice and easy to enter as well as exit the coach. A couple of things I do want to point out on the back end here. Of course, you notice your tubular steel bumper. That is where your sewer hose can be stored. You have the uh, spare tire that is mounted on the bumper with a cover there to help keep it in nice shape. And a ladder so you can easily climb up onto the roof in case you need to do any kind of maintenance or just hang out up there, whatever you want to do. So we take a look in the back right here on the off door side. This is where the majority of your hookups are. You'll see you have an outside shower here with both hot and cold access, a black tank flush there, both of your uh, water inlets, whether it's going to be for sewer or to fill up your tanks, satellite hookup, as well as your cable hookup. Also, right up front on the off door side, up by the nose, this unit does have your ZAMP solar prep. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Winnebago Mini 2401 RG. This particular model had the white exterior and the stone interior. 
Let's start off right here on the dinette. Uh, I like when manufacturers do this. They give you a nice campsite dinette right here because this is the view you want. You want to be able to look out to your campsite while you're having your morning coffee or breakfast. Uh, and it's a comfortable dinette here that also drops down into a bed. So if you need that additional sleeping space, you can take the legs out here. The table will sit right along these rails. Take the back cushions, fill it in, and it creates that sleeping space. Now, as you also notice, you do have additional storage here underneath uh, the dinette cushions. You just have to go ahead and lift that up. Then above the window, you will see the TV. This is a great location because it's a directly across from the couch. So that way when you're sitting there, you don't have to crane your neck one way or the other. It's a straight shot there. And then right next to it is the multimedia center. I did touch on this when we were outside. That's your radio CD and DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. The opposite side you will see has some extra storage. Now this is a rear kitchen unit. So we'll start off on the kitchen right here, which is our uh, refrigerator and freezer. Notice how you have a little cutout there for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right next to that is a cover for your control panel. We open this up, you can see your tank monitoring system in there, your lights, slide control, and then your power awning there as well. And then underneath the refrigerator, if you can see that real quick, good extra storage there. You know, and you, you can use it for whatever you want. If it was me, honestly, I'd probably kick some shoes under there, just kind of get some out of the way of your main entrance here. And then you get into the kitchen itself. Um, you do see you have a cooktop cover right there, which is nice. Nice and easy to use, this just folds back like so, which is kind of cool because it doubles as a backsplash, even though you do have a more decorative one right there. Uh, but you fold that back and that will reveal your three burner at wood cooktop. And if you're not using it, of course, that gives you the extra prep space by having that cover on there. Right underneath is an oven in case you want to do some baking. And then up top you have your hood as well as your microwave. This is the weight of the unit, 5,120 pounds. Additional storage all the way around the top here, you can see that there, as well as the storage right over here. Uh, double LED lights here underneath make it nice and bright at night, and then you have this big window here to let in that natural light during the day. You'll see you have an electrical outlet here as well as an additional one right over here. And then you also have dual USB ports in case you need to charge some other electronic devices. Running right down right here, you notice you have four full extension ball bearing drawers, big long drawers. So you're able to fit some of the uh, bigger serving ware, spatulas, big spoons, things like that. Double bowl stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet. Some storage underneath here, as well as your double sink top covers. So again, you know, you have good usable countertop space because you have the sink top covers, the cooktop cover, and then all this extra space right in here. Let's take a quick look at the slide. So this is the best seat in the house, as I had mentioned. The sofa is straight across from the TV there. Nice and comfortable, gives you a great place to sit. And also this is a jackknife sofa, so it does drop down into a bed. Now you'll see they gave you a little bit of storage underneath here too, so if you need to put some pillows or blankets under there, you're able to do that. Two windows here, again, letting in some natural light, of course, giving a little bit of cross ventilation there, and you have storage right up top with an LED light so you can see at night. The rest of the slide, this is actually really cool. Take a look at how much space you have here. So you have a hanging rod going across the top there, but look how big that is. I mean, that's awesome. That's massive for storage. The thing I like about this is you can actually put like a laundry basket in the bottom so you have a place to throw your dirty clothes, you know, get changed right there. It's directly across from the bathroom here. I just think that's a great addition. The bathroom, the 2401, is nice and spacious. You can see right down here, you have your foot flush lever toilet, porcelain bowl there, so it's nice and easy to clean, and plenty of leg room all the way around. You'll also notice you have two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other one right here into the bedroom. Right up top is our vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. Dual LED lights here help keep it nice and bright. You see your mirrored medicine cabinet there with storage behind it, as well as some cubby holes here on the side. Right down below is our sink top and vanity, and look, stainless steel bowl, nice upgraded bowl in here, electrical outlet there underneath, and some additional storage underneath that. The shower here is really nice, neo-angle shower. You can see the doors here on a roller track, which is great. 
because that way instead of opening a door and having all the water all over your floor, it just drains right down into your shower pan. As far as height, I'll step in here just to give you a point of reference, I'm about six foot. And you can see I have a little bit of headspace here even, and even more if I stand right here underneath the skylight. Also you have a hand wand right back here as well as some shelving. Right outside the shower, I can show you this nice linen closet here. So great place, you can put your towels there, your bathroom accessories, a little bit of storage there even underneath. And lastly, you do have a robe hook right here on the door. The bedroom of the 24-1, again, is nice and open. You will see right here is a full walk-around queen-size bed, and you have some good storage on both sides. Uh, the one side here, you will notice you have good wardrobe hanging space, uh, especially with that huge wardrobe we had out in the hall. You can really fit a lot of clothes in here. You will see you have a nightstand there as well with an electrical outlet. On this side, you have a little bit better nightstand here and a big pull-out drawer. You will also notice the electrical outlet there and the dual USB port. LED light here for reading, some additional storage there right up top. Windows on both sides for cross ventilation. The one is an emergency exit. You see you have a vent right here as well as TV hookup and then a king jack antenna right over there. Lastly, as I showed when you were outside, you do have a second entrance right here. Now this is really nice if you have guests stand the night or maybe you have kids sleeping in the main area, you can use this to quickly uh, enter in and out or enter in and leave the camper without waking up the kids. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini 2401 RG. This one had the white exterior with the stone interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, uh, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.